Police fired tear gas to disperse a protest in the commercial capital Abidjan against the exclusion of former President Lori Gbagbo and others from the voter polls for October's presidential election. Hundreds of protesters had gathered outside the National Electoral Commission's headquarters to demand that Gbagbo, his ally Charles Kode, and former Prime Minister be included in the polls. The Electoral Commission said the three were not included because of criminal convictions and that it will consider appeals against their exclusion. But their supporters say President Al Hassan Ouattara's government is trying to silence political opponents before the election. Joining us now is Foreign Affairs Editor Agogo Obo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Mark. Is it surprising to you that Mr. Gbagbo still has supporters despite the ICC conviction? Oh, well, not surprising. If you look at someone like Laurent Gbagbo, who's been there for uh, as president and as opposition leader, you know, he's, he's been in this sort of position for several, uh, several times in his uh, political career. You know, he's popularly called the baker, the Cicero. So uh, he, he, trans, he transmuted uh, from a professor in uh, France as an opposition leader, came into Cote d'Ivoire and then uh, became president. He has always had supporters. So even, even during the period, um, you know, when you've been in power for, those, for several years, like Bagot was in power from um, the uh, early 2000 into the late 2000, uh, it was always obvious that he would have this sort of supporters behind him. And, uh, a country that um, is, um, you know, string along ethnic lines in that sort of way. It was almost inevitable that he would have um, this support going for him. Even while he was at the Hague, was, there was a lot of um, um, calls for his demand, for the demand for his release, because um, it was believed that what happened after the election in 2010 was um, a political contest that Watara also had. Um, some of his supporters involved in some of those violence incidents that played out. An incident that was in Cote d'Ivoire uh, during the crisis in 2010. I was also there with Watara's um, uh, 2016 when he was uh, going for a second term in office. And one big thing I found that was that uh, the, co the conversation a lot around Bagbo was never ever settled. Uh, so it was sort of swept under the carpet. So uh, it was inevitable that this would happen. Then with respect to the protest, incidentally, a couple of days ago, uh, members of uh, Gbagbo's party had gone to the Electoral Commission to voice their complaint that they couldn't find his name on the register. Uh, Electoral Commission had said, calm down when, when the deadline is over, which, is, which was um, yesterday. Uh, if it's not there, we'll see what we can do. So, together with Charles Blair Goudet and um, uh, Gilam Zoro, who was a former uh, president of the National Assembly, you don't have those names there. These are the key opposition right. guys. Um, well, Black Widow was a minister on that by those government, but right. uh, Gilam Zuru, uh, yeah, so this, 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 that's the, unfortunately what you have playing out now. Just to get your thoughts on Otara's third term bid, even though it appears like nature has something to do with the death of his anointed candidate. I mean, I'd love to have a front seat uh, when the, when uh, Alassane Watara gives his speech um, on, the, on Thursday. Oh. To, to, to just 48 hours from there, from then. So, um, under a lot of pressure, is going to have to make a decision. Um, he wouldn't want to go for a third term, but it look, looks like his hands have been forced into trying to make a decision. You have people within the president's um, party that you probably would think um, that they were. Bakayoko is the, the new prime minister. His name has been has been mentioned. The party's um, chairman or uh, uh, leader has also been mentioned as a possible candidate. But these guys don't have the sort of clout. Uh, what Tara has. So his supporters have sort of, um, you know, pressured him into trying to make a decision. So no one knows what is in the mind of what Tara now. International community say, don't do it. Um, there are other people who are telling him also not to go ahead and do it that could destabilize a, a country that's made uh, sort of giant strikes in the period he was uh, in office beginning from 2010, uh, around 2011 to date. So right. it will be interesting to see what he says. Indeed, it would be. But the election looks like the ruling party may just have a smooth ride. What do you think the opposition is doing? Are they uh, uh, silent? Are they not as robust as they should be? So, uh, Alassan Water is kind of the Arash Dupe. Uh, so, um, that, that, the party which he represents 
is um, was formed into a coalition, which is what helped him become president in 2010, and more importantly, uh, second term in 2016. And uh, he formed a coalition with who's supposed to be um, one of the major candidates also too, uh, was former president, Conan Bedie. Uh, so Conan Bedie uh, 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 is supposed to be the opposition. He's picked up a, 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 a form and will be contested in the election in October, but his party is split. So some of the guys with his coalition with Watara have remained with uh, Watara, while others have continued with him. And interestingly, Conan Bedie was part of the protest today uh, demanding for um, uh, the, vote, the, the, the voting rights for Alas, for uh, Laurent Gbagbo, Charles Blair Goudet, and Gilan Zoro. So that, that should have been the position, you know, but it's already splintered. Um, uh, Laurent Gbagbo is away from the country right now, but he, he, the, he's thinking also to, if he comes into the country, he could stand a chance and be the candidate for his party. His party is also splintered, uh, the Ivorian National Front. That party now has um, Afi, Afi Gwesen. And trust me, I interviewed him in 2010 too. Afi Gwesen was vice president to uh, Bagbo many years ago. He's a very ambitious guy, but he's also lead, leading a splintered party. The guys in Bagbo's party so, uh, insist a lot of, that Laurent uh, Bagbo come back from Belgium and become uh, a pre become presidential candidate of his a, own party. So a, the position is actually splintered. So that's why they're not strong. Uh, well, let's see what happens in the coming days. Who knows with yeah. politics, things can change. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. I'll be